Today, we attend the Capital Talk, a 250 startup pitching program, where a few founders, after six months of incubation, are pitching their startup businesses to potential investors in hope of attracting an investment for their businesses. All of this and more next on Life at 250 Startups. I feel nervous, but I also feel it's like I have confidence that things are going to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's already been <laughs> myself. Yes. No, no, no. Even, even fresh books, it's growing. Uh, we are going to have the startup company that are going to present you what they've been going through in our incubation program for the entire six months as we are almost concluding the second cohort. Uh, they're going to Tell us why they are here today and what they are looking for in, uh, in this evening. 250 Startup is a multi partner incubation program which accelerates startup company to be fundable within six months. And this project is in between the government of Rwanda and Japan. Uh, there's an incubator as an organization, but it runs an acceleration program uh, for young startups that are at a level of uh, prototype, uh, minimum viable product. The last Capital Talk was the best because uh, we had many visitors from different uh, institutions. In this episode, we'll look at life inside the 250 Startup Incubation and Accelerator Program. 250 Startup's mission is to discover and support technology startups and make them more investable. Basically, each startup has 1 million grand and francs that they have to spend in the six months. And then uh, we help them, we guide them, we give them mentorship, uh, we, we have a specialist in incubation, we have a senior finance officer, we have a senior lawyer that guide those trainees. And then we provide those finance and uh, lawyers that they can't afford as a startup. At the end, you have a pitch deck. You have a pitch deck because you have content. Our content fits. Where is what you negligent even from the beginning? Ugasanga na information vites jane na fieldwork. Kwerichi, you neglected the first assignment. So I'm fighting to make sure that you have uh, rich content about what you guys want to solve. See I'm part of the founders of uh, Ikizamini Online Limited. Now, uh, this is a startup that's trying to provide online services uh, for those that want to study for their provisional driving license test. So basically what you found us doing in the morning is we are try trying to plan uh, how uh, uh, our entire field uh, we will go or uh, because we are definitely going out this week we will spend this week going uh, down to the field and talking to the people involved in our market startups present their weekly and monthly progress at the end of each week and month each startup will get a mentor financial advisory lawyer lunch and transport facilitation throughout the six months of incubation for most of the startups that starts, they don't take time to plan before and they don't think of the legal implications of most of the first um, activities they do as a company. And that is very true because um, at our start, we, we, we think everything is about the solution we are bringing and we forget to mention the legal aspect of it and that's what um, she's been helping us with and let's say we've uh, been able to learn a lot and we are yet to learn more uh, with, uh, with this very strong team. But with any, anything to do with, uh, with companies, if you want to change something in the company, how do you change it? How do you change it? No, before you even go to board watch all those things, how do companies communicate? Um, this startup company, uh, it mainly deals in the quality of water management. 
Uh, it, we have a, a prototype. Uh, it's a form of electronic device that um, helps or keeps track of the water, P pH of the water or the acidity levels in the, in the fish ponds or in the water so that it can reduce the death rates of fish and it mainly helps farmers, fish farmers. The economy of Rwanda is mainly in, uh, it's mainly in agriculture. I'm expecting that within these six months that I'm going to be working with the 250 program, I believe our prototype will stand out. I believe our prototype will be developed enough to go on the market, compete with other, uh, other companies that we are in line with. It's going to help us play a great role in the economy of Rwanda as well. Take Adopter, it is a, a manufacturing company that is dealing with the manufacturing of machines and tools used in agriculture. Uh, right now we have uh, many products, but among of them we have manual seeding machine. So the process in, for applying for the incubation, for startups they have to send a profile, what they do, there is a guideline application, there is an application on the website, a Google form where you have to fill in your, uh, your team names uh, on that Google form and you have to upload your uh, PPT that explains what you do, what the project is about and all that. So we are a bit late, one interesting thing before pitching to the investor there is a rehearsal for Capital Talk. They pitch to their friends and other startups in the incubation program where they'll get real and honest feedback from their mentors, making sure that they are ready for Capital Talk. Now, we will tell you that 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 we will Tech adapter is pitching is somehow challenging because you attend to the audience hoping that you are going to receive questions but sometime when you know that what you are saying is real that's the way of confidence so it was not easy one of the point why you bring you here is because you can work with other people even something you don't know okay other people can help you to do it it's coming I just started to do that because it's the last slide. Because this slide other people are doing it right, you're going to sit here. And you have been doing it well, you're going to see it. The founders get a feel of what it's like to pitch to investors, all the while rehearsing for the capital talk. Next one is take a doctor. The Startups Accelerator program is supported by the Japan International Cooperation Agency through ICT Innovation Project and Rwanda Information Society Authority. RISA we is, has been instrumental in terms of uh, helping or facilitating and now it is even the third cohort will be now. I think for the remaining cohort they will be located here at RISA. And uh, this is, will be the main contribution of RISA, at least to hosts in terms of uh, space. 250 Startups is in its third cohort, but that also means that it is in its third phase. And what the future uh, looks like, uh, the future looks uh, at scale. Uh, we're fortunate that the, the, the Japanese government uh, contributed or committed uh, to 50 startups. And, um, 
that it gives a coverage of close to uh, 200 individuals um, but uh, 50 businesses that uh, are likely to come out uh, to come out of that one of the major aims of 250 startups is to not only work towards promoting investable businesses but also solving global challenges with the aim of creating the next generation of ICT companies see you next time at life after 250 startups Thank you.